The latest info on the food we eat is seriously unsettling. Guess what? Our food is engineered to appear perfect. Navigating the world of restaurant meals, grocery store finds, and packaged snacks feels like walking through a minefield. But the real shocker? What's actually in them and how they affect our bodies will leave you speechless. What secrets are hidden in the food we eat? A 24-year-old hamburger that didn't age well? Someone pulled out a McDonald's hamburger that's been sitting in a closet for 24 years, and it looks exactly the same as when it was bought. The fries look like they might have just fallen under your car seat a month ago. The bread hasn't molded, the meat hasn't rotted, and the whole thing is still intact. It's like a time capsule from the day it was made. This horrifying discovery has people freaking out about the preservatives and chemicals that must have been used to stop the decay. Fans of the fast food chain are left wondering just what they're eating. While fresh food decays naturally, this burger defies the laws of nature. Bread made with feet. You might want to sit down for this one. Ever heard of bread being made with feet? Yep, it sounds as disgusting as it is. In some places, traditional methods involve people stomping on dough with their bare feet to mix and knead it. While it might have roots in old school practices, the hygiene aspect is seriously questionable. Imagine the bacteria and dirt that could be on someone's feet, ending up in your bread. This method not only raises major health concerns, but also highlights the importance of knowing where your food comes from and how it's prepared. Unhygienic bread-making practices can lead to all sorts of contamination, making you think twice about those artisanal loaves that might look charming, but could harbor unseen dangers. Live Worms in Popular Fried Chicken Franchise This one's bound to turn your stomach. Videos have emerged about live worms being found in KFC chicken wings, and it's as horrifying as it sounds. Imagine biting into what you think is a delicious piece of chicken, only to discover it's crawling with worms. It's enough to make anyone think twice about their fast food choices. This unsettling incident raises serious concerns about food safety and hygiene standards in fast food chains. How do live worms end up in chicken wings? It points to potential issues in the supply chain, storage, or cooking processes. Such lapses can lead to severe health risks, including food poisoning and parasitic infections. Why junk food really hooks us. Here's something wild. We don't chow down on junk food just because it tastes good. Studies show that milkshakes with more fat and less sugar activate the hippocampal region of the brain, which is linked to sensation and texture. Imagine touching something soft like velvet. That's what fat does in your mouth. Meanwhile, sugar lights up the thalamus and other areas tied to taste, triggering those feel-good dopamine responses. When you mix fat and sugar together, it creates a powerful combo that's not found in nature. Add a bit of salt, and it changes how our neurons process things, making the food even more addictive. And it gets even crazier with additives like MSG and yeast extract. These ingredients boost the effects, making the food seem even more delicious and lighting up our brains more. They're designed to make us crave more, ensuring we keep coming back for that junk food fix. Why you can't put down those Doritos? Doritos are seriously one of the worst snacks out there, and here's why. They're packed with fat and have an amazing texture that food scientists get paid big bucks to perfect. These scientists know exactly how to make the crunch just right, which makes them super addictive. Think about the powder on Doritos. When it hits your mouth, it's not just the taste, but also the feel of the powder on your fingers and how you can't resist licking them afterward. This whole experience messes with your brain, making you want more and more. Plus, they're loaded with refined starch and MSG, which adds to the problem. All these factors together make Doritos a snack you just can't put down, no matter how hard you try. French fries. This man is making fries with his hands, a bit of sweat glistening on his forehead as he works over a sizzling fryer. He grabs some potatoes, slices them up, and drops them into the bubbling oil. And it's not just this vendor, backdoor kitchens and big restaurants that look the same too. The fries come out golden and crispy, but let's break down what's really happening here. French fries are bad news, and here's why. It's similar to why chips are a health hazard. We're taking potatoes, cooking them in low quality oils at super high heat, 
and creating something that's insanely addictive. Here's the science part. When you cook carbs like potatoes at high temperatures in vegetable oils, they form a compound called acrylamides. The name sounds like acrylic, and it's fitting because acrylamides are super toxic. They speed up aging and increase the risk of cancer. French fries are one of the biggest sources of acrylamides. If you want to do serious harm to your body, eating French fries every day is a sure way to go about it. Chips. After hearing this, you might think twice before reaching for that bag of chips again. Many of us grew up snacking on Lay's, Ruffles, or other chops. But here's the ugly truth. Chips are the definition of empty calories. They start with low-quality potatoes, slather them in unhealthy, inflammatory oils, deep-fry them, and then coat them in salt. Virtually zero nutritional value, loads of calories, and they never fill you up. Plus, they're often packed with preservatives and other nasty stuff that's terrible for your health. Get this. If you eat just 3 ounces of chips a week, you're adding over 24,000 calories to your diet every year. That's about 7 pounds of extra fat, just from those seemingly innocent snacks. Non-organic bread. Non-organic bread is a serious problem. The biggest issue with non-organic bread is that it's often sprayed with a pesticide called glyphosate, also known as Roundup. This stuff is toxic and it's everywhere. It wreaks havoc on your gut microbiome, is a known carcinogen, and can cause fertility and neurological problems. And there's a common misconception out there that you can't eat bread and still lose weight. The truth is, you can enjoy bread and still shed pounds, but it has to be the right kind. The key is choosing organic sprouted bread or organic sourdough. Fried fish and chicken health risks. Fried fish and fried chicken, and other fried foods in general, are definitely some of the worst things for your health. So, what's the deal with fried food? It's essentially taking some meat, often lower quality, coating it in non-organic wheat, and then dunking it in low quality oil at high temperatures. This process creates trans fats and other harmful substances. Studies have even found that eating fried fish just once a week increased the risk of heart failure by 48%. Fried foods are terrible for your heart. They contain inflammatory fats that clog your arteries, causing your body to build up plaque in response to the inflammation. Over time, this can lead to atherosclerosis, heart attacks, or strokes. Processed meat. If there's one thing nutritionists consistently agree on, it's that these processed meats are terrible for your health. Things like hot dogs, sausages, and deli meats can cause more harm than you think they significantly increase your risk of colon cancer, which is a serious concern. The culprit here is the nitrites and nitrates used in these meats, which can enter your digestive system, irritate your colon, and damage your DNA. Colon cancer is life-altering, and it's not something you want to gamble with. Processed meats are also bad news for your heart. These meats are often made from the worst parts of the animal, and they're loaded with salt and poor quality saturated fats. This combination is a ticking time bomb for your cardiovascular health. Baked goods. Worst food number three on our list is baked goods like pastries, donuts, strudels, and similar treats. You're probably thinking, yeah, I know these are bad for me, but let's dive into why they're particularly awful. These baked goods are typically made with non-organic flour, low quality vegetable oils like shortening, and loads of sugar. That's already a bad start, but it gets worse. A lot of these treats contain something called bromides. Bromides are added to make baked goods fluffier and improve consistency. However, these bromides can interfere with your thyroid gland, which controls your metabolism. The bromides bind to the thyroid receptors that normally need iodine, a crucial nutrient for making thyroid hormone. When bromides block this process, it can slow down your metabolism leading to fatigue, hair issues, menstrual problems for women, and just a general feeling of blah. You should be on the lookout for potassium bromate on labels, a common way bromides sneak into foods. Another sneaky source is brominated vegetable oil, BVO, which is found in many soft drinks, citrus drinks, and sports drinks like Gatorade, Powerade, Mountain Dew, and Fanta. BVOs and bromides are definitely things you want to avoid in your diet. Besides the bromide issue, baked goods are often eaten for breakfast. This is the worst time to load up on carbs and sugar, 
because it can mess up your blood sugar levels for the rest of the day. Instead, breakfast should be about protein and healthy fats to keep your energy stable. The real deal about dairy and ice cream. Let's talk about eating too much dairy, especially ice cream. Ice cream is usually made with non-organic dairy, loaded with sugar, preservatives, flavorings, and sometimes candy bits. We often eat it at night, which is the worst time to spike your blood sugar. Now, on to dairy in general. Some types of dairy can be good for you, like Greek yogurt with probiotics, kefir, or a bit of sheep or goat cheese on a salad. But if you're consuming a lot of dairy, you might run into problems. Many people are allergic to dairy proteins or can't digest lactose, leading to lactose intolerance. Dairy can also cause issues like mucus production because it contains beta-casomorphin, a natural opioid that makes us feel good and can be addictive. It's best to keep dairy as an occasional treat. If you're out at a restaurant, fine, enjoy it. But if you do well with dairy, try fermented options like Greek yogurt and kefir. Have them in the morning with some berries. For desserts at night, choose better quality options. This way, you can save calories and still enjoy delicious snacks with your family. The hidden dangers of nightshades. We often eat potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, and capsicums without thinking twice. But here's the shocking truth. These common foods are all nightshades, and they produce a chemical called solanine. Now these foods were mostly adopted from North and South America, but everyone missed some crucial details. The original consumers were often poor and had no choice but to rely on these plants for survival, and they had specific ways to process them safely. Take tomatoes, for example. When they're green, they are loaded with solanine. The traditional method was to let them fully ripen on the vine, then blanch them, peel off the skins, and remove the seeds, parts where the poison is most concentrated. Potatoes are another eye-opener. While we now hear that the skin is where all the nutrients are, it's also where the solanine lurks. The skin acts as a barrier, protecting the potato from pests, and in turn, it contains the highest levels of this toxin. Remember being told to store potatoes in a dark cupboard? If they turn green, you've got to throw them out. Why? Because they've become toxic. The green color indicates dangerous levels of solanine. And if a potato sprouts roots, it's another red flag. You either cut out the entire eye or discard the whole potato. It's pretty alarming to realize that these everyday foods can be so harmful if not handled properly. Kolkata's Indian Street Food Nightmare Imagine walking down the streets, craving some of the good old street food, and you come across a vendor selling kachoris. But here's the catch. It looks like the kachoris are being made in a bathroom. The vendor is frying up batches of kachoris next to a grimy sink and the whole setup looks far from sanitary. Just the sight of it is shocking. You can see dirt and grime everywhere, and the thought of eating anything prepared in such conditions makes your stomach turn. What's even more surprising is the long queue of people waiting to buy these kachoris. They seem unfazed by the unhygienic surroundings, eagerly waiting for their turn to grab a bite. This scene would make anyone with a sense of hygiene walk away in disgust, just the sight of it is shocking. It would make anyone walk away. Those tasty treats might come with a hefty side of germs and bacteria. Barbecue sauce. BBQ sauce is a favorite condiment for many, adding a sweet and tangy flavor to everything from ribs to burgers. However, there's a downside to this tasty sauce. Many BBQ sauces are loaded with high fructose corn syrup, HFCS. You might be wondering why this is a big deal. Well, a study published in the journal Nutrients found that HFCS can lead to some serious health issues. We're talking about neuroinflammation, oxidative stress, and changes in brain plasticity. These factors can potentially cause brain mitochondrial dysfunction, which is a fancy way of saying it messes with your brain's energy production. So, next time you're slathering BBQ sauce on your food, think about what's really in that bottle. Frozen pizza. Frozen pizza might be the go-to for a quick and easy meal, but let's face it, when it comes to ingredients, it's pretty much the worst of the worst. These convenient meals are loaded with refined junk that your body doesn't need. They're typically high in unhealthy fats, low in protein, and packed with preservatives to keep them shelf-stable for months. 
Take a closer look at the ingredient list on a frozen pizza box, and you'll see a laundry list of chemicals and additives. From artificial flavors and colors to preservatives like sodium benzoate and BHA, these ingredients do nothing good for your health. The dough is often made with bleached refined flour, stripping away any nutritional value it might have had. The cheese is usually a blend of low-quality dairy products mixed with additives to enhance texture and flavor. The toppings? Often processed meats and vegetables that have lost most of their nutritional benefits. Eating frozen pizza regularly can lead to a range of health issues. The high fat content can contribute to weight gain and increase your risk of heart disease. The low protein means you're not getting the nutrients needed to maintain muscle mass and overall health. And those preservatives and artificial ingredients can wreak havoc on your digestive system and overall well-being. Nachos. Who doesn't love a plate of nachos, right? They're perfect for sharing at parties, enjoying during a game, or even as a quick snack. But here's the thing, nachos are incredibly calorie dense. That cheesy goodness isn't just delicious. It's also affecting your brain in ways you might not expect. The cheese in nachos has a texture and taste that interact with the opioid receptors in your brain, creating a feeling of euphoria. This is the same part of the brain that drugs like heroin and morphine act on, which is why nachos can be so addictive. It's this combination of high calories and brain-pleasing chemicals that makes it so hard to stop at just a few chips. The Shocking Truth About Ramen Ramen noodles are really unhealthy. They're super high glycemic, meaning they spike your blood sugar fast. Plus, they're made from ultra-refined noodles. Most ramen also has a bunch of soybean oil, and sometimes even trans fats mixed in, which are bad for your health. A lot of ramen contains a chemical called TBHQ. While more research is needed, TBHQ could be linked to neuron damage and even DNA damage. Pretty scary stuff, right? I'm not saying that eating ramen will instantly destroy your brain cells, but it's definitely junk food that can be harmful and keeps you coming back for more. It's the kind of thing you might want to think twice about before eating regularly. A breakfast disaster Fruit Loops Fruit Loops might not mix sugar and fat, but they are super high glycemic. The big issue is when we eat them, usually first thing in the morning without any protein. This causes a major blood sugar spike. If you love Fruit Loops, try adding some protein powder to your milk like Lane Norton does. The best way to balance out a high-carb meal like this is to pair it with some meat, which helps reduce that glycemic spike. Milkshakes Milkshakes are another problem. They combine sugar and fat, which we know isn't great, but the real issue is how they're consumed. Because milkshakes are liquid, they don't trigger a strong GLP-1 response. Basically, your brain doesn't get the message to stop eating. This means you can easily drink a 6 to 700 calorie milkshake and still not feel full. White chocolate. White chocolate is basically a mix of cocoa butter, cocoa mass fat, and a ton of sugar. Unlike dark chocolate, which has polyphenols that help counteract some of the sugar, white chocolate doesn't have any of these benefits. So, if you're choosing between white and dark chocolate, there's really no competition. Dark chocolate wins hands down. M and M's and Skittles. M and M's and Skittles are another story. These candies are packed with sugar, fat, and artificial colors. Those bright colors, like yellow hash 5 and red hash 40, aren't just for show. Studies have linked these artificial dyes to increased ADD and ADHD in kids. They are basically sugar bombs with added chemicals that can affect your health. So, while they might be fun to eat, they come with some serious downsides. The truth about high sugar fruit drinks. One of the worst foods out there is high sugar fruit drinks. These so-called healthy drinks like Green Goddess or Mango Antioxidant Explosion might look good for you, but they're basically just sugar bombs. If you check the ingredients, you'll see they're packed with fruit purees like mango, orange juice, and apple puree, which means they can have 30 to 40 grams of sugar per serving. Sure, they've got a bit of vitamin C, but you can get that from plenty of other sources, without all the sugar. Whole fruits are a different story. When you eat fresh fruit, you get water, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, all of which release slowly in your body. Take blueberries, for example. 
They might be sugary, but they also have fiber and vitamins that can help your body burn more fat. So fresh fruit can be great for you, but fruit drinks? Not so much. Inside, look at Indian Sweet Shop. You won't believe what goes down at the biggest gajak making factory on the streets of India. It's absolutely insane. Workers are stretching out the sweet, sticky gajak mixture using not just their hands, but their feet too. This dry sweet shop is a whole other level. Hygiene? That's not really a thing here. You see folks kneading and pulling the gajak on huge surfaces, and yep, sometimes they're barefoot. They're cranking out massive amounts of this sweet treat in record time, but the lack of cleanliness will make you do a double take. Those tasty looking sweets may have just lost their appeal. It might just make you think twice before digging in. Unhygienic bread making in a local factory. If you ever wondered about the importance of food safety, this video drives the point home. Watching this will make you think twice before grabbing that loaf of bread at your local store. It's a pretty nauseating sight and a good reminder to always check where your food comes from. The workers are handling dough with bare hands, no gloves in sight. It's shocking how many hygiene violations are happening right before your eyes. Counters are smeared with old dough and other gunk, clearly not cleaned properly. The setting itself looks grimy, with dust and dirt visibly collecting in corners. You can almost smell the staleness through the screen. This is enough to make anyone gag. These foods we've discussed are far more harmful than they seem at first glance. From shocking behind-the-scenes kitchen practices to secret addictive ingredients, it's clear we need to be more mindful of what we put into our bodies. Makes you wonder what other everyday foods might have hidden dangers, right? Stay tuned to see what gruesome truths come out next.